In this video with the Anking, I'm going to go over how to change your Anki settings before a test. This is one of the most common questions I get, and this is so that you can optimize Anki around a school schedule, which is what most of us are using it for. Now I'm going to go through five different things I do. Number five is I use custom filtered decks. And this is so that I can use the cram mode, is what a lot of people used to call it. Uh, and you'll notice here that this is unchecked. This is a built-in function in Anki, and I'm going to go show you how to use that right now. For the custom filter decks, essentially what you're doing in cram mode is you're going to take some of the cards in here and you're going to study them not in a spaced repetition mode. You're just going to cram them in real quick. So it's not going to affect the long-term algorithm. Uh, so I'm going to go into the browser and I just have the uh, Onking deck for uh, step one, which but you can use this with any deck. And I have tags and I'm going to create a custom filter deck. Uh, now we actually have this video here on how to use custom filtered decks. I'll link that below in the description so you can get more information if this isn't sufficient. Uh, but I'm going to choose a tag. So let's say uh, that I am having a test on hematology and oncology. Uh, now I can just do this tag here, uh, and it shouldn't include the suspended tags, but if I want to not use the suspended tag, what I'm going to do is hold Command or be Control on a Windows, Command and Alt, and click that and notice it adds a negative sign is suspended. So this is all cards in the HEMOC that are not suspended. And I want to review all of these 800 cards right before my final. I'm just going to go through all of these. And again, it's not going to touch the spaced repetition algorithm. So I'm going to go to the edit menu here and then click create filter deck. Now it's going to pop up here and I'm going to do HEMOC final cram. We're going to make this into a cram deck. Now you can see it pulls all of the cards out here. And I'm going to limit this to 99999 because I want it to pull all of the cards. Now you can do this however you want. I think when you're in cram mode, a way that uh, is very helpful for me is to do more most lapses so that the cards that I have missed the most will show up first and I can review them uh, as a priority. Now you want to uncheck this thing right here. I'll say that again. You want to uncheck this. You want to, you do not want to reschedule the cards based on the answers in your deck. That would affect the spaced repetition algorithm. But by unchecking them, you're going to, that's not going to happen. And we'll repeat the failed cards after, you know, however long you you want to do it. You have essentially one step that you get, uh, and if you get it right, it kicks them out, and if they get in, then you'll see them again in, in 10 minutes. Now, such so as a large one, I'm going to do 20 minutes, and I will click build, and it's going to create this thing here with 809 cards. Now, notice it didn't touch the cards that I had to do that were in my regular queue for the day, uh, and if I go here and study, you'll notice that there is a, I got it right, or I got it wrong. That's it. Uh, so it's just a cram mode. If I click good, it's going to kick it out of the deck. I'm not ever going to see it again in that filtered deck. If I hit again, then it'll stay in there and I can keep reviewing it. Uh, so that's, that's how I use the custom filtered decks to review it right before a test without affecting the long-term spaced repetition algorithm. The number four thing that I do before tests is I use this custom code on my note types. Uh, it looks like this. It shows you the ease, and it also shows me how many months out this card is, or how many months out, sorry, my test is. And the card will tell you how many months out it's going to be scheduled. Uh, this is the code here. I'm going to link this in the description. Uh, but you can see here this uh, yellow box that just popped up. That's the additional card fields fork add-on. That's what shows the ease on the card. And also there's a place here in the code that allows for you to change the date of whatever test you're counting down to. Uh, like I said, the code is going to be in the description of this video. For this custom code part, I'm actually going to go through it quite quickly because the exam notifier add-on essentially overtakes this and it's no longer needed. Uh, but it is still helpful and, and so I'm going to share it with you anyway. If I go into any of these flashcards and click cards, it's going to pull up the styling here. And in the back template is where I put the styling. And uh, it's not great coding wise, but I've just put this all right in here like this so that you can easily copy and paste it. Uh, like I said, you do need the additional card fields fork add-on to use this ease part. If you don't want that add-on, you could just delete it, but that puts the ease of the card down here. And then this part here with the date is going to pull up the months and days uh, of how far out that is. So uh, I've set it to December 18th, 2021. You could do whatever, you know, if it's Christmas, uh, notice that it changes down here. So that's really the only piece that you need to edit there. Uh, so I'll click save and I'll show you how I used to use this. Uh, like I said, I'll do it quickly because the exam notifier add-on I think works quite a bit better. So I'm going to click on this and study now and do this. Oh, there's a sneak peek of what you're going to see in just a bit. <laughs> 
uh, and it pulls up this thing right down here. So the E's right here, you can see is a 250% or 2500 2, is how Anki displays it. Uh, that's just for me because I think it's handy. But then it shows me here, my test is in 2.7 months or 81 days. And you can see this card here, if I hit good on it, is going to be in 1.8 months, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but if I wanted to hit easy on this, it would be 2.7. So I, you know, it's a little iffy. I might not see this card again before my test. So what I would do in this case is hit R. Uh, uh, which is my shortcut for set due date. Yours may be a little bit different. And it's going to pull up this dialog. And what I could do, that's just the reason I put the days in here, so 81. Uh, what I could do is I could say I want this to be on 79 so that I can see it two days before my test. I would hit OK. Make sure that you don't put the exclamation point in there because the exclamation point will actually adjust the due date as well. Uh, this is essentially just going to change or sorry, it will adjust the interval as well. If you don't put the exclamation point, it just changes the due date. You're essentially burying it for 79 days and then it's gonna go back to its normal schedule. It's not gonna reset the card in any way. Uh, so that's, that's how I use this code here on my cards. The number three thing I do is I use the Calculate New Cards add-on. This is pretty new, but it's awesome. This is what the dialog looks like. It lets you set up your tests and then calculate exactly how many cards you need to do to finish all of those flashcards by a certain date. It tells you exactly how many new cards you need to do per day or if you prefer to study by week and you can actually tell it I only want to do new cards four days of the week or five days of the week and I want these holidays. It's very customizable. This is an add-on we just released on our Patreon or our memberships. There's a link in the description below to that if you're interested. It's very important to remember as you're doing this that Anki is a long-term study idea. That it's this algorithm that you are studying things right before you're about to forget them. Uh, now with that in mind, one of the most important things to do is to cover all of the content in an adequate time. That's where this Calculate New Cards add-on comes in and you can see it's down here. I've already calculated how many cards I need to do if I were studying for USMLE Step 1. This is just a theoretical thing. Now I'm going to go up to the Onking menu here with the Calculate New Cards to Do menu and this is going to pop up. Uh, now this correlates right here to this. And what I'm going to do is add a new goal uh, and show you how this works. So first we need to decide what cards we want to study. I'm going to go into the browser and let's say, I'll just use the tags, uh, let's say that we wanted to finish all of cardiology. Uh, you can see there's a lot of cards in here, but I really only want care about the ones that are new to me, not the ones I haven't seen. So I'm going to hold Command and then click New, and that's going to make it so that this pops up here with Is New. And you can see there's 1,200 cards that I have not studied yet. I'm going to select all of this and Command C for Copy. And we'll get out of this. We'll go back to this Calculate New Cards to Do menu here. There we go. And I'm going to make a new goal. Uh, this is going to pop up. I'll click Edit and we'll do Cardio. And I'm going to put this in here and we'll do, I think that's a 2021. Let's do like November 1st, which is coming up pretty soon. And you can exclude dates, you know, if it's your birthday, holiday, Christmas, whatever you want that you don't want to add new cards on. You can also say, I only want to add new cards five days a week. Uh, or I only want to add new cards four days a week. You know, whatever you want. So I'll do five days a week because that was my typical study plan. We'll click save and that's going to update here. It's also going to show here because we checked that box. It's going to show us how many cards we have to do. Now this also updates based off of the cards that you are doing here. Uh, and this also pairs very well with another add-on that we have as beta test on our Patreon, which is ca this add-on that calculates how many new cards uh, to do. It's still a little bit in alpha phase, it's a little buggy, uh, but it is, we are working on it, and it, it's, it's also very handy just to see how many new cards you have done. So I'm gonna go in here, click study now. This is the new cards, these are all in the cardiology, and I'm just going to hit the space bar really fast and go through a lot of these, because there's about 30 here, and hopefully it will update uh, what, what we have there. Let's see how many we have left now. Uh, we're down to 13. Hit the space bar a few more times. I do not recommend studying like this, by the way. Um, there we go. Okay. Now we're here. So we'll come back in here. You can see this is saying we've studied so many new cards and this is adjusted from 62 down to 61. It's saying, and it's going to adjust every week as you are doing new cards, uh, which is the nice thing. Uh, so anyway, that's how you use this add-on. 
The number two thing I do is I use the set due date function within Anki. This was previously the rememorize add-on if you're on older versions. It works very similarly. This is what the dialog looks like. Uh, it allows you to actually change the due date and the interval of your cards. You can change one or the other and there's advantages to doing either. This is a built-in function in Anki and I'm going to show you how this works. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to show you the number one thing because they work hand in hand. And that is the exam notifier add-on. This thing is amazing. Amazing. We have been working on this for a couple of years. Uh, I've actually worked with Glutanimate on this. It is now available on our Patreon and on Glutanimate's Patreon. And it is in the options group it's, uh, of the settings. And this is the only thing within the options group that I actually change before a test. It allows you to enable notifications for a deck for when you have a test coming up. And I'm going to go show you right now what that does and why it is so advantageous. All right, the cream of the crop here, the exam notifier add-on. And like I said, if you go into your settings options group here, I bet you were thinking when you started this video, you were thinking, oh, what settings do I change here if I have a test in four weeks? And the truth is I don't actually change these settings. The setting I changed is the exam notifier options, which if you're on the newer versions of Anki looks like this, and it will actually open up the old version of Anki. Uh, and this is how you enable it. And it, keep in mind that it is per deck. Uh, so this is for all options groups with, uh, or all decks with this options group it's going to apply to. Uh, so if you have a different options group, you need to apply the same thing. So I'm going to enable it uh, for quiz and we'll set the exam date, you know, here in the future. I think that's just a couple weeks in the future. Uh, and I'll show you exactly how this works and how we pair it with the set due date function. So I'm going to go in here. I have just a few cards to review. We'll click study now. Uh, and I'm going to study this and you can see this pop-up shows and it says, hey, look, this card is going to show up past the due date the next time you see it. It's going to show up in two and 2.4 months and our test is in, uh, you know, 14 days, right? So it's going to show up 57 days after the exam. Our test is in 14 days, which this is helpful information because you can click on this change due date here or you can hit R or your shortcut, whatever it is for the set due date function or rememorize on older versions. And I know I have 14 days until the exam, so I can do 13. Now, like I described earlier in this video, uh, you do not want to put the exclamation point. The exclamation point would make it so that this card is now an interval of 13 days and the next time you see it would be about a month. Uh, when realistically, you know, the next time you're supposed to see this is in 2.4 months. So what this is going to do is it's going to reschedule the card in 13 days, the day before your exam, and then it will go back to its normal schedule and go back to 2.4 months, assuming you get it correct at that one. So I'll click OK. Uh, and you can see it does this on all of the cards that are going to schedule past the exam date. So 1.2, I can click Change Due Date, or I can say, oh, I don't care about it, and get rid of the notification. And I can keep going through this. This is going to pop up on every card that will schedule past your exam date. Now I intentionally put the exam date very soon so that it pops up uh, on almost every card and makes it easy for you. But that's the gist of it. I love this add-on. Uh, you know, it was my idea to come up with this a couple years ago and I talked to Glutanimate actually when we were in Germany together with Amboss. Came up with this add-on. We've been working on it and making it so that it's really good for you. We hope to update it in the future. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and helps you study before exams. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnKingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.